Are you wondering what high school you should send your teenage kids to? Hoping they are smart enough to get into one of those magnet programs? Because honestly, you care about them and you want them to go on the right track, right? At least that's what my mom wanted from me, my brother, and my sister. Don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna be going over the top 10 schools in Baltimore County. This ranking is from the US News. So don't go in the comments and hating me because you think it's my opinion. This is not my opinion. This is from the US News ranking. And they have a pretty good ranking systems on what is the best high school in the whole nation, okay? Again, please do not write mean comments and say, oh, I do not agree with you, I do not agree with you. You don't agree with the US News, all right? I'm just a messenger and don't shoot the messenger in this case. But before we start, if you don't already know me, my name is Van, I'm a real estate agent in Maryland and I'm very local to the Baltimore area and I've been living here nearly all my life. If you guys like videos like this please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot to me let's get into it so one of the reasons why people relocate is obviously because of school everyone wants to send their kids to a good school and brag to all their friends and that is a fact the conversation probably goes like this oh your kids go to that high school well my kids go to this high school we got one of the best sports team education and all that good stuff we all have had we all know those type of parents <laughs> and we can't blame each other because we're all like that there's something about high school rivalry and and you just gotta love it. But before we start, we gotta understand how the US News does its rankings. What criteria are the US News looking at? And where are they getting their data from? And if you are a nerd, I'm gonna link to the whole article so you can read it if you want to, of what the US News are going through when they're ranking all these schools. First thing is they add up the weighted score of these six criteria to analyze the quality of the school. So of those six indicators, they calculate an overall score from zero to 100. And this is based off of a national percentile basis. And the data aren't even collected from the schools because think about it, some schools can fudge the numbers and be kind of biased. Some data are collected from the common core of data by the US Board of Education. Second data collection is from state assessment test. Their data comes from the college boards and the fourth data collection is from the intonation baccalaureate exam. These are the six indicators. I don't even understand some of them to be honest. Number one is college readiness which accounts for 30% of the whole ranking score. This is based on the AP or the IB exam. Number two is college curriculum. This accounts for 10% of the overall score. They are taking the numbers of how many students take or earn AP credits which is college credits basically. Next is math and reading performance which accounts for 20%. And we also have math and reading proficiency which I don't get the difference but they said that's two different things. The next one is underserved students performance. This accounts for 10% of the school's overall score. I like how they added this one because they're accounting for minorities or low income families performance in the schools as well. The last indicator is of course graduation rate. How many kids are graduating from the high school? And that is obviously an important factor. Now that we understand where they're getting their data from and all the indicators that they're basing their rankings on, we're about to take a deep dive in what is the top 10 best public high school in Baltimore County. And again, please don't be mad at me because these are not my rankings, okay? It is also cool because all these high schools are like my backyard high school. I you know, have friends that went to this high school, friends that went to this high school. So that's pretty cool. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay, number 10 is Lock Raven High School. It is pretty small high school compared to all the other ones on this list. They have a pretty good graduation rate, but what's bringing them down is the college readiness. Level. Either way, being top 10 is pretty good. Coming at number nine is on the other side of Lock Raven, but still in Baltimore County, Catonsville's High School. This is pretty impressive. The graduation rate is 95%. That's really, really good. They have double the amount of students as Lock Raven High School does. And the factor that makes them higher than Lock Raven is their 5% better in graduation rate. Coming in at number eight is Franklin High School. They have whipped our butt in football ever since I was in high school. And they're still dominant in football. So they have a lower graduation rate than Lock Raven High School and Catonsville High School, but their college readiness is still above them and college readiness accounts for 30 percent of the overall score coming hot at number seven is Pikesville High School. Now, they're also a small school compared to Franklin and Canesville, but they have a 95% graduation rate and a 37.1 score on a college readiness level. So that's really, really good for them. We're almost on the halfway mark. At number six, we have Delaney High School. In my opinion, I thought Delaney High School would rank a little bit higher on the list, but I mean, number six is still great. They have a pretty good graduation rate at 94% and their college readiness is at 51.8, which is way better than all the other ones 
that I've mentioned so far. But what I believe what is bringing them down is the mathematic proficiency level. But again, number six is still amazing. Up next at the halfway mark is Towson High School. They're known for their amazing law magnet program. Have a graduation rate higher than 95. That's great. College readiness, 53.2. Amazing. And they are ranked 50 out of all the schools in Maryland. So that's some good stuff right there. Moving to number four on the list is Hereford High School. Now, if you guys don't know, this was my high school rivals. I don't like them. I don't know why they're on this list. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're cool. They're a good school. And they deserve to be on this list. But our sports team, we went at it with each other. Hereford is a great school. Above 95% of their kids graduate from high school. And on the college readiness level, they score a 61.8, which is really, really high. So good for them. And they're also the top 30 schools in Maryland. Coming in number three is Carver High School. Their graduation rate is good. Their college readiness is good. And what is also good is their student to teacher ratio of 16 to one. And everyone know how important it is to have a one-on-one -on -one time with a teacher. We're getting pretty close to number one. We're getting pretty close. Last but not least is Western Tech High School with an amazing 15 to 1 student to teacher ratio they were ranked number seven out of maryland's top high school has a 89 percent minority enrollment and more than 95 percent graduation rate with an amazing college readiness score of 63 Point seven. Lastly, coming in first place, we have Eastern Technical High School. I have to say, I'm pretty proud of this high school because that's the high school I went to. No, my older sister went there, I went there, and then now my little brother is literally still there graduating this year. Eastern Tech had a majority of their students take the AP exam and with a 66 percent passing the AP exam. I definitely brought down those numbers because um, I failed my AP exam between me and you. Oh, sorry. No, they wanted me to take it. I did not take it. Okay, sorry. It was in AP environmental science. I did not want to take the exam. Boo hoo. But I did bring down the score. Not only that, we're the top three high schools in Maryland and in the top 0.7% nationally. I'm not gonna lie, I did not know how I got into the high school because we had to take a test to get in and only a small percentage of people actually got in. Either way, I'm proud that I was a part of it and all the other high schools should be proud that they're on this list. But really, this ranking really doesn't matter because I believe that we all should strive to make every school the best high school possible. It's not about keeping one school down or one school up. We should always strive to make every school the best high school ever. Anyway, my name is Van. Until next time, peace.